like an ordinary Christmas celebration. It's not. What draws Christians to this church in the northern Israeli town of Jish is the community's connection to Jesus Christ. Listen closely and you'll hear some of the prayers in an ancient tongue. It's Aramaic, the language Jesus spoke. When I pray in Aramaic, I am, I am feel that I am so uh, uh, near Jesus. Naveen Elias sings in the choir at St. Maroon, a Maronite Christian church. At home, she teaches her children Aramaic through song. I am very happy to song and to pray in Aramaic. Jish is one of the very few places in Israel or the Palestinian territories where you'll hear Aramaic. The town is in the Galilee, where the Bible says Jesus Christ grew up. Shadi Kalul is the man behind the Aramaic revival here. He spoke a few words of the language growing up, but he was inspired years later when he was studying at university in Las Vegas in a Bible literature class. The instructor told students that Jesus spoke Aramaic, a language that the professor said had disappeared. So I like was, off I felt offended. I immediately raised my hand. I said, excuse me, instructor, the language still exists. We still speak it. We still pray in it. <laughs> Kalul returned home to Jish and in the decades since has worked tirelessly to promote the language. It's written about Gavre Ibnai Israel. He found old texts, including this Bible, in Aramaic. He's talking about Jesus, this text. At the local school, about 120 students now study the language. There's also an Aramaic Sunday school and concerts at the church, all an effort to have the ancient language thrive. And my language and my identity and my culture is my future. This is the importance of Aramaic. We are building a hope for people. Now Kalul wants to establish a new town for Aramaic speakers, a place to showcase the community's connection to Jesus. Derek Stoffel, CBC News, Jish in northern Israel.